he wants to play football, he wants to be back with the French national team. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today, many questions on Manchester United manager, let's clarify some things about that. And also, Paul Pogba, Gavi, what's the situation with the Barcelona midfielder? And more to say on Liverpool with some positive updates, let's jump into it together. And so guys, let me start today's video with Paul Pogba again, one of the big topics of the week, but now it's official, TAS finally released an official statement of the breaking news I gave you last week, Paul Pogba reduced, see, reduced his um, drag ban from 4 years to 18 months. Paul Pogba can play football from March 2025 and can train with a football club from January. But that club, let me confirm once again to you in a very clear way now, is not going to be Juventus. It's over between Paul Pogba and Juventus. Both sides have decided to part ways. Now the negotiation, the formal negotiation will follow to terminate the contract. Pogba will be a free agent, but Pogba feels that he needs a new start, a fresh start after difficult years. And also Juventus want to move on and to trust different players, especially youngsters, as part of their new project with the director Giuntoli and with the manager Tiago Motta. So it's over between Juve and Pogba, the contract will be terminated, let's wait to see when, let's wait to see the conditions of this termination, but Pogba is looking for a new club, he wants to play football, he wants to be back with the French national team, and so he's really ambitious, he's pushing for that, let's see which club will decide to give a chance to Paul Pogba. Talking guys about midfielders, Gavi return is getting really closer, almost there. This is what Barcelona sources are saying. It's true that Hansi Flick is very happy and his coaching staff are very happy with uh, Gavi in training. Training very well, top mentality, good physical condition. They can see in his eyes the fire of Gavi. So he's almost back. Matter of uh, short time and then Gavi will be available on the pitch, ready to play. Barca staff wanted to be super careful after the serious injury he suffered one year ago, but now he's almost ready. He's flying in training, so Barca are very, very happy with the attitude of Gavi. It's not just a technical point, obviously. He's a young player, a super talented player, so Barca never had any doubt on Gavi returning in the best shape possible. But the mentality, uh, when you have this kind of injuries, maybe you can be affected. Obviously, he was uh, sad and in a difficult moment after that, but then he started to recover in a fantastic way, like a beast. And so Gavi's almost ready and Barca are super happy with that. Remember about this contract, because I can tell you that now, with Gavi getting ready to play football again, Barca are prepared for the next months, likely to be 2025, but let's see the timing, to discuss about a new deal for Gavi. Conversations uh, will start, conversation will enter important stages in the next months and Barca want to extend the Gavi contract, so it's Pedri, it's going to be Lamin Yamal. Barca have a plan of new contracts, a really important one also, we know Araujo, Frankie de Jong, important topics for Barcelona, but for Gavi, Barca also have discussions ready to take place in the next months because they want Gavi to be an important part of their project, remember that they already extended also the contract of Mark Bernal after his injury. And so Barca really building with these new contracts for the talents from La Masia, a fantastic one. He's for sure Gavi and we look forward to see him back on the pitch very, very soon. And then guys, Liverpool, because we keep waiting on important updates on Virgil van Dijk, Trent Alexander-Arnold, who remains in the list of Real Madrid, and Mo Salah. These three players are talking to Liverpool, discussing with Liverpool, waiting to see how this negotiation will go, not just financially, but also length of the contracts, project, what Liverpool want to do. So all these topics are being discussed with Virgil van Dijk, with Trent Alexander-Arnold, with Mo Salah. On Trent, I keep receiving your questions, guys. Real Madrid keep following the situations on a weekly basis. Real Madrid are very well informed on the situation of Trent Alexander-Arnold, but at the moment, still not at advanced stages of any conversation, because the priority for Trent is to discuss with Liverpool. Then we will see how this conversation will go. Real Madrid are also waiting for that. But for Liverpool, positive updates because the talented centre-back, young centre-back, Jarrell Kansa will extend his contract at Liverpool. The agreement is done. So just waiting on some final small details and then Kansa will sign a deal at Liverpool, a new long-term deal at Liverpool and it's going to be an important point for uh, the club. So extension almost there. And then negotiations have started with Ibra Konate. They have started in a very positive atmosphere because Ibra is very happy at Liverpool. Arnes Lott is very happy with him. So he was already an important player for Jurgen Klopp but also now with the new coach is considered really important again. 
And Konate is happy. Konate is happy with Liverpool vision, with Liverpool project, and also with Liverpool uh, prepared now to offer him an important contract with a salary rise. And this is something that Ibra Konate will obviously welcome in a positive way. So the conversation has uh, started and Liverpool are really confident to extend the contract of Ibra Konate. They see that as a matter of time and also as a message internally after what happened with Virgil van Dijk, Trent and Mo Salah out of contract now in a dangerous situation for the club now they have a new director, Richard Dukes Michael Edwards also there at the club and they want to change these kind of things this can't happen again important players have to sort their situation as soon as possible and this is going to be the case with Konate and also with Jarrell Kansa already done and agreed and then Manchester United guys we wait to see how Ineos internal discussion will go in the next uh, days for sure uh, Ineos are still discussing internally uh, still assessing internally the situation about Eric Ten Hag we know this was an important last one was an important week for him two draws Porto and Aston Villa so Ineos talking internally, Ineos discussing internally, Ineos at this stage still not in contact with other managers. We had reports on Simone Inzaghi, but guys, Simone Inzaghi never had any concrete conversation with Man United, and there was never, and there is never going to be any chance of Simone Inzaghi leaving Inter during the season to sign for any other club, even for Manchester United, a top club like Manchester United. Inzaghi is not leaving Inter during the season. Forget about that. So all the stories on Inzaghi going to Man United now are completely out of contact and completely impossible. Then in the future we will see but as of today no contacts for Simone Inzaghi to Man United now and full focus for Simone Inzaghi on Inter many of your questions on Thomas Tuchel guys what I keep repeating to you on Thomas Tuchel is that Tuchel you remember the exclusive story last summer when May United considered the position of Eitan Hag, they were in a process to decide whether they wanted to confirm Ten Hag or fire him last summer after winning the FA Cup what happened is that uh, internally at Manchester United they had a meeting with Thomas Tuchel and also with his agent representing him so there was a meeting then uh, they decided not to proceed on both sides on Tuchel's side he wanted to um, relax a bit after Bayern to take some energy and then return in the next months and also Manchester United decided to confirm uh, Eric Ten Hag as the manager but that meeting is showing to you once again that the appreciation of Ineos of the management team and of Manchester United in general for Thomas Tuchel remains so for sure Thomas Tuchel is a candidate another manager who was appreciated for example was Roberto De Zerbi but De Zerbi now has a different uh, project Olympic Marseille so for sure he's not a candidate now for May United but just to tell you that May United had some names in mind last summer when they considered the possibility of replacing the manager then they decided to continue with Eric Ten Hag but Tuchel was there and so Tuchel can be a candidate and so Tuchel is appreciated but at the moment still Manchester United discussing internally and still not making contact with any other coach so far because they still keep respecting and waiting with Eric Ten Hag and so guys then your thoughts on Manchester United what do you expect on the manager Ten Hag to stay or maybe to go for another one what's your opinion here in the comments and then Pablo Gavi which club should go for Paul Pogba and also Liverpool Konate, Kansa what's your opinion on the contract extensions let me know here in comments like this video turn on the notification bell subscribe to the channel see you soon ciao